going on everybody i got another quick video well it ain't really gonna be that quick hopefully it'll be quick but in any case it's another video doing a um doing a radiator on a 2011 escalade um shouldn't be too too difficult you know today supposed to be like 102 degrees outside so while it's nice and cool in the morning even though i just got off work doing a shift but while it's nice and cool in the morning i want to go ahead and knock it out now one thing i say about texas is working on cars you're working outside you then or do anything outside better have you some fucking off man these bugs out here man they ferocious i'm talking about they they attack you and attack you and attack you it won't let up especially when you try to work on the car and shit all they want to do is be biting all on you and shit so i gotta hit myself up with some off but in any case, I am a little bit tired, but I want to go ahead and take advantage of this as much as I can while it's nice and cool out. And I mean cool like 80 degrees, but the sun ain't beaming. It's a nice, simple little breeze. And right now, my back is it got a lot of shade back there. So um, behind my garage, so I'm going to go ahead and try to, if I can't pull it out, at least in the daytime and put it back in. In 100 degree heat, I gotta do one or the other. I don't wanna waste no time. At the same time, I am tired. I've been up since like two o'clock yesterday. It's nine o'clock today. So I'm gonna try to put at least an hour, hour and a half in it. Then go ahead, take a shower and hit them, hit that bed. Feel me? If I can get it done in two hours, great. It don't look like it's too bad of a job. Um, it's my best interest to get it out the way, but shit, if I'm tired, I'm tired. If I gotta get out here and sweat, Later on in the afternoon, I'm going to go ahead and do it because I need to get this shit out the way. Uh, they've been waiting, you know, a while for me to do it, at least a week or so. So I can't trip, but in any case, we're going to get straight to it. Now, so far from what I see, um, real basic tools, like maybe a um, 10 millimeter to start. As always, I'm just going to grab my whole row of fucking sockets, a ratchet get to it i do have the air it's a little early if i get stuck on something i'll do the air but taking out maybe you know eight bolts i don't think i really need the air for that i go a truck in case y'all want to see it my little garage truck i go a camaro I haven't done no upgrades yet but it is still riding like a champ i tell you riding like a chisel I already move the cover that go up here. All the like I must have to do is take off this bolt, this bolt on both sides. Take the fan off first, cause the fan just kind of lift up and out. It got slots down there that they fit on. I'll show you the, when I get that out the way. Get the fans out the way first. Get this bracket out the way that helps hold the radiator back cause it's recessed. The radiator is leaking. I already confirmed that. I may have to take this uh, air cleaner housing out the way just to give me more room. Then I'm going to take this upper radiator hose off. And the last thing I'll be taking off is that lower radiator hose. Now, I will be losing some antifreeze in the driveway. Hopefully, it's mostly water in here. Like I told them, just keep adding water. That way, water can flow in the fucking driveway. And it will dry up in this damn summer heat. See my neighbors, they out here working, man. These women. I got one over there, she over there painting her fence. Then another one over here, she cutting her grass and shit. Early in the morning. Women be getting it. Well, I got these little holes too. And of course, I got the trans cooler lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this camera. I'm gonna start breaking some of this shit down quick as possible. And um show you guys what I do as much as I can while holding the camera and trying to do it. Cause you know, holding this camera makes shit longer. Now I'm gonna get my specialty clamp tool that I told y'all before. Everybody should have in their toolbox. 
And if I can find it, it should be in here somewhere. Oh, you know what? It's in my tool bag. I bet when I pack my tools. I was originally gonna do this job at the person's house, but I decided to do that shit at home. Where all my tools is mostly at. And It's more convenient for me because I can just do it and take my ass to sleep at the words. Because damn it, it's hard being less sometimes. Work, kids, sleep. It's like, what can you do, man? What can you do? In any case, this is the tool I was telling you about. Perfect for removing hose clamps. I got a bunch of hose clamps I got to remove. Now look, you don't even need much. With this tool, this row of sockets, and a ratchet, I should be able to do at least 90% of it, if not more. In any case, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this camera. Best I can. Maybe in circles. All right, I got the camera mounted. Let y'all kind of see the area I'm gonna work in as much as possible. I need both my hands for this part. Oh, you also want to need this good old fashioned flathead. Move all this stuff out the way. Let's pop this pop off. I just need to get this hose clamp out the way. These little hose clamps out the way. Always a bunch of little BS in the way, ain't it? And I just pull out. I don't know if you can see that. I had to pull this out. Connects right there. To lift this up. I'm gonna lift this up and completely out of the way. See, a lot more space now. Now I can go ahead and handle my business. I swear some of these socket holders, man, they do not be playing around. Oh, this ain't metric anyway. Standard, I need metric. My fault, I thought I had a metric set, but I grabbed that standard set instead. See what size socket it is. Looks like this might be a 13. Yep, 
It is a 13. Let's see it, take the fans out first. It's just two bolts. I also have done a throttle body on one of these. They comment for going out. I did a master cylinder and brake booster on here. And I believe that is all. We thought it was possibly the water pump going bad on this. But um, after a while of driving it, realized it was the actual radiator leaking. But I got a mosquito right there. See what I'm saying? I ain't gonna this, man. Hope I got enough off on me. Factory nonsense off of here. Good thing it was leaking, it don't have much in it. But you know this is all stock, so of course it got a thousand and one brackets holding shit and this and that and that and this. It's another little bolt down here on the sand bracket. For the trans line. So far, you just need a 13 for the two top bolts, a 10 for this trans line bolt. Everything is so dusty under here. This is the infamous 6.0. It's a nice motor. I like the 6.2 better, but 6.0 ain't bad. Gets the job done right. It's a lot of power. I think this thing put out like 410 horses. That's not bad for a big ass truck. All right, let's see. I'm still holding on to something. Of course, they got another hose clamp bracket down there. My goodness. General Motors. I got to get my steps to for this. Everybody that know I'm working on the truck, you're gonna need a step stool. Cause they do sit up. They got they got 10 millimeter bolts that hold these brackets on for the trans lines. I might need a small extension to get to this one. I 
able to loosen it. Let's see if I can turn it on. Ah, I sure cannot. So let me get that short extension. Got my short extension. Now it should be a problem. I highly suggest a short extension if you're doing this. Make make things easier on yourself, you know. Like I said, I haven't got much sleep. Just got off of work. So I'm trying to get this shit done as quick as I possibly can. So I can enjoy my day. Mainly before the 100 degree heat come. It already feel like it's, the temperature went up in the last hour to probably about 90. I guarantee it. All right. I'm gonna show y'all those bolts after. I get this damn fan out the way. Oh yeah, let me unplug the harness for the fan. One there. dual fan so it's two plugs and I also see the, the trans lines I mean the oil cooler lines of course they got that snapped into the fan also so you're gonna have to pop that piece out the way if, if it acts like it's fucking gonna move out the way and get the tab loose Just popped it out the connector hole instead. Stay back there. A lot of fan comes out. It's gonna take still a little bit of fishing to get it out. Because of the oil cooler lines. Trans oil cooler. Mainly this damn oil cooler. see oil I mean antifreeze all at the bottom of it it's part of the problem definitely not part of the solution put that, set that shit on out the way all right now I got that out the way let me show you a couple things because uh, I'm probably gonna not record this entire video but this screw and that screw down there on the power stand, I mean the trans oil cooler lines, they screw into the fan shroud. So you want to get those two screws out the way. And then you got um, this piece on the oil cooler line. I just popped the whole piece out with a flathead. As you can see, I got access to the radiator. You can see right down there where it was leaking. Uh, like it's just leaking from the bottom. Oh, it's leaking down here in this corner. Also, it's kind of hard to see, but it's leaking down there in that corner also. That's probably the main leak down there, but it was leaking in two places. From here, you can see, you got this cooler line or reservoir line, which is no problem to take off. You got trans cooler, which is a, uh, pop that little piece of plastic back and it's just a clip that hold it in place. So. You, just um, pop that piece of plastic back, pop the clip out, make sure you do not lose the clips, and it pulls right out. Then you got this other cooler line, take that loose, and you got another, you got this cooler line, 
Then you got another trans cooler line. Then you got the hose clamp at the bottom, which I'm gonna take the hose clamps off last because of course it's gonna leak antifreeze every damn where. Hopefully it's full of water, like I was saying before. And then over here, I got the oil cooler line, oil cooler line, which is just, like I said, pop that plastic back and it's just clips. You can unscrew it, um, but the new radiator should come with this part. So I'm just gonna pop the clips out. Don't lose the clips. Pull them two out and take this upper holes off and just bend this shit out the way. It shouldn't really be no fluid, fluid in here. Damn it. Hit me in the damn face. Stupid holes keep popping off. Shouldn't really be no fluid in there. Uh, so I'm gonna take that off. I might take it off next since it wanna keep popping up. And take, uh, look at that little spider. See what I'm saying? It's bugs relentless. They don't even want you to work, man. Then take this uh, bracket off, radiator hose bracket. And take this radiator hose bracket off. And I should be able to pull the radiator forward like this, maybe at an angle. Cause I'm not sure if, hopefully if I'm lucky, the condenser isn't bolted to the radiator, which is what I'm really hoping for. It might be, hopefully it's not. But um, if it is, that's a whole nother challenge. But I'm gonna start breaking this stuff on off and I'll show you a video of me pulling it out. So, in a minute. Now I did a quick pause in my video just to show this midpoint. Um, when I actually did take these screws out, the whole thing tilted forward, thank goodness. The condenser is not connected to the radiator. That is a huge bonus, because that could have been a huge headache. Um, I disconnected the oil lines, the upper radiator holes, everything's disconnected on that side. A little coming out of that hole. I'm letting it drain a little bit. I uh, got a drain pan down there. But as you can see, these trans lines are disconnected and moved away. Only thing left is the uh, lower radiator holes. And I'm pretty sure once I take that loose, whatever coolant is in the system, it's going to finish draining completely out. But after that, as you can see, I'll be able to take this radiator right on out and put it right on in. <clears throat> now I'm an expert. So this did take, this I want to say took me under 30 minutes if I wasn't recording to have the radiator completely out. Another, it shouldn't take, it's, it's quicker going back in. Um, like I said, don't lose those clips. In fact, I had this thicker, it's pretty thin actually, but it's slightly thick flathead. I had to get an even thinner one because it worked a lot better with this super thin one. Because it can get down in that groove of that clip, pop it up, and let it slide on out of there. These are how the clips look. The oil cooler clips are bigger than the other clips. Oh shit. Did I really just lose that right on the video? Ain't that some shit. I saw where it fell. Hopefully I can pick it up. But that's the clip. Now let me find that clip and get back to work. I decided to go ahead and record this last little part. Since um, I'm almost done. Alright, here's another quick video. As you can see, the radiator is out of the vehicle. It's draining a little bit. Um, unfortunately, they did put antifreeze in there. Even though I suggested it's best for water, I guess they wouldn't understand there was a reason behind that. But if you got a leak and you're in Texas weather, put water in there until you get it fixed. So that way, when the mechanic drains it, he doesn't have to worry about draining out a bunch of damn antifreeze and having that shit all in his driveway. It'll just be water, which the hot ass sun will dry up the fucking water, right? Then you ain't tripping. A little bit of oil, a little bit of trans fluid and water. But it is what it is. In any case, the radiator is out. I'm about to go ahead and put it back in. By the time y'all see it, I should have it. Uh, most of the stuff buttoned back up on the radiator. Um, it's going pretty fast, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it in a minute.